Welcome to Comedians on the Fly, where I take your favorite comics fly fishing. I'm your host, Elon, Elon Stribling. Stribling, everybody. Elon Stribling. Today, we have one of my first comic friends. He used to be fat. That's about it. I just stopped watching porn recently. This is like really time consuming sometimes. Like uh, one time I was scrolling through, I was like, what title sounds good? And then I saw a fucking title that was talking about cryptocurrency. And it was like, wife comes home and sucks husband because Dogecoin is in the plus. <laughs> and then I spent four hours trying to figure out what the fuck Dogecoin was. Everyone, put your hands together for BK Sherrod. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> this is Comedians on the Fly. Clip of my uh, <laughs> whoa, we, 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 we. whoa, that might have been a fish. It was so back. So, yeah, what do you do when you get a fish real? So, when you get a fish, you're gonna call it's called setting the hook. So, when you set the hook, yeah, all you're doing is like when that bobber indicator goes down, all yeah. you're doing is making sure you're tight on this line, okay, and you're just lifting up. That's okay. it, okay, so that the tension, yeah, like the hook gets into its mouth. Gotcha, have a bunch yeah. Of piercings. Yeah, 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 Jesus. <laughs> this is why sometimes I come to shows with a bad attitude because it's like this. Gotcha. Yeah, but you're just kind of always in a bad mood. You know? I'm always in a great mood, actually. Yeah, no, you're just... basically Squidward. I do actually have some questions though. So like with, uh, how do you choose a fly? Whatever you think the fish naturally eats. So is there like a, like a rule of thumb? Like so today we're trout. So like what do trout eat? Trout eat worms. Okay. They eat aquatic insects. Okay. They eat grasshoppers, ants. They eat a bunch of So that's small... like this guy looks like a bug? Yep. All right, cool. So that looks like a stone fly. So trout eat stone flies. Okay. If you're fishing for bass, you could fish with a frog, you could fish with bait fish. But everything's calculated, so everything you chose today was for the specific trip? Yes, right. was for a purpose. <clears throat> um, when are you taking me fishing next? Never. <laughs> cool. Lift up, flick forward. Up, forward. Lift up, flick forward. I good? Yeah. Up and over. Nice. So up, over. Look at that yes. one. Yeah, boy. All right, next spot. So where, where was your first time doing comedy? So my first time doing comedy was at an Indian restaurant in Boulder. Man, I remember the, the first joke I told there was, <laughs> I knew when they asked me to do a show at an Indian restaurant in Boulder, I would be the only Indian person here. Were you really? I, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one dude, he was like, you know, the other kind of Indian. Indigenous? I usually say Native American. Do you see that? I did not. Went under, dude. So, you, so you're still not trying to like talk about indigenous people or what ha what happened to them? I mean, that's not my fault. Christopher Columbus was looking for me, and he fucking found them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you're blaming? I'm blaming so him. So it's your fault. I'm blaming his navigator. Because they were looking for you. So if they weren't looking for you, then look. If you're trying to blame the Indian people, it's because we had good spices. All right, next spot. Let's keep it moving. All right. It's like right here. Let's just move to the next spot. All right. <laughs> I think we might move to the next spot. We're fucking moving. Vamanos. Should we move to the spot? Yeah. Oh. Let me try one. Whoa. Ooh. Did I have one? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. There it is. You ready? Oh, I see him. Is that because there's a fish on it? Yeah, you should probably set the hook. <sighs> what the? So sad. <laughs> I want you to catch a fish so bad, but this is... Same. 
right there. Right. That's if she's not coming, she's going. Uh. Oh, ah, let's change flies. Look at those flies. You tie all these yourself? Mm -hmm. So does the polarized sunglasses like help you see through the water? Yeah, because no it shit. the glare off the water. Gotcha. Because yeah, you'd, you'd be able to see these fish if you. I mean, I, I can, I've seen a couple of them. Didn't have itchy eyes. It's not itchy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the syndrome you got? I have astigmatism. No, you don't. No, nah, I don't. I got 20/20 vision. Do you really? Yeah. Too bad you can't see these fish. <laughs> Do you have any uh, favorite stories from doing comedy so far? Because you haven't been doing it long, have you? No, it's been uh, three and a half years. Uh, but yeah, I did first month in Denver, did a couple of mics, and then I started going to Boulder. And then I got booked on my first show after two months, and I remember, oh my God, it was terrible. I had a voice recording where I was just talking all my jokes, pausing where there would be laughter. But it's just a voice recording, so there's no actual laughter. <laughs> And I listened to that for like two weeks in a row, just vacuuming, like in my car. Oh, just trying to get your set ready? Ex yeah, just, do you remember the first joke you ever said at a show? First joke I ever said at a show? Oh, I think I did, because I started during Black History Month. Yeah. Or on MLK Day. Okay. And I said, <laughs> if you don't laugh, I'm gonna blame it on racism. I mean, that's funny. Like, I know, that's, but I don't, it's, now I look back and I'm like, oh. I mean, you know that dude that lit himself on fire in Boulder? Yeah. I've been doing a joke about that, that's been going well. So this dude lit himself on fire um, to like spread awareness of uh, the environment and like climate change. And I was like, yeah, when I read all that, I was like, I couldn't help but think how bad for the environment what he did was. <laughs> <laughs> I just like when you do a joke and I know you're waiting for a laugh uh -huh. and the crowd oh, doesn't laugh. I hear your laugh, that's the worst. <laughs> the worst is when it's dead silent and then I just hear, ah, <laughs> your fucking laugh. Since you've been doing more and more shows, because you've toured <laughs> Don't say toured. Well, you've, you've been to a bunch of different festivals across the country. Yeah. Is there like a, what's like your favorite comedy place? Like what's your favorite? Like, favorite place? If you could go once a month to do a show. Um, let's, let's see. I like Portland, Maine a lot. Portland, Maine. I'll be yeah. there next week. Santa Fe was really good. New Mexico? Yeah. Interesting. Portland, Oregon. Did I wait too long that time, or? There you go. Be ready. Be ready. Oh my god, be ready. Oh, I thought it went under. Hold on, hold on, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Bam! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it makes me No, 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 no,
in two words, how would you describe how you feel about comedy? How I feel about comedy? Um, definitely ex excited and hopeful. Definitely excited and hopeful. That's yeah. three words. It was, you know, excited and hopeful. Excited and hopeful. That's also still three words. Excited and hopeful? And hopeful. Excited, hopeful. Two words. What is there, is there like an environmental issue that you care about that you like really wish people knew more about or something that's like close to your heart? Um, definitely that there's still kill shelters for dogs. Does that count? I hate that oh. But also there's organizations like a, they're called Best Friend Alliance. Uh, they're working towards having no kill shelters across the country. Cool. If you were someone's auntie's yeah. favorite, what would it be? It can be your auntie's favorite comedian. It could be your auntie's favorite cowboy, your auntie's Ooh, favorite damn. camel. It can, damn. Whatever your auntie's favorite is, what would it be? Probably your auntie's favorite night. Like K-N-I-G-H-T? Yes. Yes, like but, a, or, or night, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, all right, man, thanks so much. Let's, uh, we'll head out and we'll see you next time. Take off those glasses for him. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Does this not scare the fish? No. <laughs> you knew that was gonna happen, huh? I did not know that was gonna happen. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> funny. But you know what? That's part of fishing. And you know what they say? A day fishing is better than a day at the office. <laughs> for fish. I know fish are stupid, but can they sense my energy? Yes. Okay. <laughs>